Welcome to Kingdom Stuff, where we talk about the Kingdom of God and doing like Jesus. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the Kingdom of God. What is it? What does it look like? Where is it? I know we've talked about this briefly in the past, but uh, in the practical sense, how do we experience the Kingdom of God? Uh, You might be at the grocery store, and I'm assuming that uh, everybody listening here is either a believer in Jesus, and you know that he has commanded us to be more like him and do what he did, do the things that Jesus did. So when you find people that are sick or hurting or in a situation where they need help, you offer to pray. That's what I do. So I have my eyes open. Because Jesus said his father was always at work, even to this day. But he only did what he saw the father doing. So I've prayed, Lord, keep my eyes open so that I can see what it is that you want. So if I'm at the grocery store online and I overhear somebody saying something that's, you know, I've been in pain, I've had this headache all week, blah, blah, blah. I ask them, would you mind if I pray for you right now? And then I do it. And let God do what he does. Invite his kingdom to come, his presence to come. Let them experience God's love. And so that's how you experience the kingdom of God at the same time when you're praying for these people and God's presence shows up for them. You experience his presence just as much as they do, which is kind of cool. But we're just being obedient to what God has called us to do. And so it could be on the grocery line. You know, you're not uh, out doing grocery shopping missions or anything. It just happens. So you keep your eyes open and do like Jesus. If you enjoyed this briefing, subscribe here or check out my book on Amazon, Kingdom Stuff, or website, kingdomstuff.org.